In this video, we're going to set up or sign up for our Google Analytics account. And to do this, you're going to want to go to google.com slash analytics. And once you get there, click the sign in or uh, you may have to select one of these options. And for this video, we're choosing analytics. Analytics is going to track our visitors so we can see in real time uh, how, what our traffic is, where they're coming from, how they got there, how long they were there, um, etc. So you need an analytics account in order to track these types of metrics. So we're going to click the sign up button and uh, what we need to do here is create an account for our website. Now in any Google Analytics account you can have multiple websites. So this is your account name. Um, it might be your organization name uh, that you're going to type in here. And then the website name. Um, so we're going to do this for Bailey's Journey website. Now this is just a descriptor of whatever you want to call your website. So we could call it Bailey's Journey. A lot of times I just use the web address. Um, and in the website URL you need to type this correctly as you're going to type in your web address. So in this case it's Bailey's Journey. And you can select whether it's HTTPS or HTTP. Either is fine. Um, this is a travel blog. So we'll see if there's... Or pets and animals. We'll put this under. So, But it, find your specific industry and choose that one. Next is your reporting time zone. This is helpful for narrowing down those specific times. Um, so I am Central Standard. Actually, we'll change this to Canada. And Regina. Now, once you have that all selected, you can choose to opt in to to these, I'm going to just uncheck mark these here. Um, and and you can have up to a hundred accounts per Google account that you have. So now for the important part is we're going to get the tracking ID for the website after we accept these terms. Hold on a second, I just have to read all of this. I'm a speed reader. There we go. Good. And I accept. I used Bailey's account, so you can see this right from scratch. This is the tracking code that you want to. Um, I'm going to close this. This here is you're looking for tracking ID. Uh, if you have a web developer, you want to give them all of this. This will be fine. They can get your tr the tracking number from the ID here as well. Um, if you're using a Google site, all you need is this tracking number. Um, so I'm going to copy this for our next video where we're going to put this into either a Google site, a WordPress site, uh, etc.